Hello my crazy family, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a really quick video. We are going to DIY this Mickey pin board. It's going to be a very quick video, so we'll get right into it. These are what I used on, on the pin board. This is the cork board that I used. I also used just a piece of cardboard that I just cut out of a TV box from a TV we had purchased. And then I have just an old frame here that I found laying around the house and some wood glue. I will also be using my glue gun, which is plugged in in the corner over there. So this is the frame. As you can see, the frame is a little bit wobbly. The corners aren't quite all together anymore. So I need to fix those corners. So I'm going to use some wood glue in the, all four corners in order to try to stabilize the frame a little bit more. You will see that at, towards the end of the video, it is not quite completely stable yet still. So I do go ahead and use a little bit of hot glue at the end of the video just to try to give it a little bit more support. But I did put in a, quite a bit of wood glue in all of these joints. And then we just hold it together until it dries, spread it out, and do all I can to make this frame as stable as possible. I do try to keep the glue cleaned up as much as possible so that it doesn't get stuck on the fabric that is around the inside of the frame as well. This is actually a really, really big frame. I don't even know what size it is, but it's probably the biggest frame I've ever worked with. Uh, this was found in an old sea train in some stuff that my father-in-law had laying around um, and I just pulled it out. It was going to get thrown in the trash and I thought it would make a perfect pin board. So I pulled it out. It's actually been sitting here in my house for, oh, probably almost a year now. Um, as you can see, it's still a little bit wobbly there. So I'm just trying to add a little bit more glue and I'm also going to support this. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, have some goofy gummies and we're going to just let it sit for a little bit. We are going to speed through all of this as much as possible so that you're not just sitting here watching me hold a frame together, which obviously isn't good material. So I am just adding a little bit more glue to this and then once I get that all added, I'm going to let that dry for a couple hours and I will come back once it has dried so that we can add the cork board. Okay, so my frame is drying and what we're going to do here is I am going to add the cork board to the cardboard that I am going to insert into the frame. This is just cork board that I ordered off of Amazon. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it out. I'm going to cut it to size, mark it, cut it to size. And then what we will do is we will glue it to the cardboard. So here I am just cutting it to size and we will speed through this process as well. All I do is I use a pen to mark the end of the where the cardboard ends and that is it. And then what I do is I just glue sections of the cork board at a time. I'm using the clips because it helps me, helps to remind me not to bend over that cork board too much because it will 
uh, break and then you have to repair that. So I use the clips and it just helps me to remember just to roll it over just a little bit and it also helps me to know where I glued it at so that I don't pull, try pulling it up from the cardboard because that will tear your cork board. So we're just going to glue this all down. And then once I get it all glued down, I'm just going to trim it up. So I use a combination of a knife that I have and some scissors in order to just trim it up so that once I go to put it into the frame, it will fit. I did pre-size this, this cardboard to the frame. Uh, all I did was just lay the frame down and draw around the cardboard and cut it out. That was it. Uh, that one was that was a little bit more complicated because the box was so big and it was just going to be impossible for me to show um, on the video because it just would have taken up too much time and room. So here I am putting the cork board into the frame and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it down kind of tacking it to the frame and then I put glue also around the back of it as well along the edges just to kind of help hold it into place because when you put your pins in you kind of press into the board and I don't want the board to pop out of the back once we are pressing it in. So here is our completed insert to the cork board and here's where you're going to see that I'm adding a little bit more a little bit of hot glue to those corners because they were still loose so I am fixing those up and then our next our next thing is I'm going to cut out some designs with my silhouette and I chose this design of Mickey and Minnie holding hands and I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the center out and leave the surrounding area that way I can use this as a stencil on my cork board. So here you see that I have my stencil laid down on the cork board and here I'm just making sure that the stencil is laid all the way flat on there so that when I do start painting I don't have a bunch of seepage going underneath the stencil. And once my stencil is all the way down, then what I do is I'm just cutting up some foam and I'm going to use the foam to tap in the paint inside of the stencil so that we will get the design out. Now, all I had was that little bit of black paint and that was actually like halfway gone. So I would have liked to have had a little bit more paint to use on this. Um, I noticed that it kind of came out splotchy, but after I got it all done and I looked at it a little more, I actually kind of like the splotchy look to it. I will continue to look at it and if I decide that I don't like that, I can go always go in and add in some more paint. That's not difficult and you can obviously do the same with yours. If you were going to do one of these, what design would you use on your bulletin board? I'd like to know down in the comments. I was trying to think of something that would be like pen related. Um, I, I don't know if you remember back a while ago I did a pen banner and I named it I put Trader Joe on it um, because I figured, you know, the Trader Joe kind of relates to trading pins. But I couldn't think of anything else to do with this one. And I saw this design and thought it was adorable and thought it would look really cute in the center of the board with the pins all around it. So I decided to go with this. So yeah, let me know down below what design would you put on your pin board? I would be very interested. And if you want to do this yourself, you can get 
frames at just about any thrift store and they're super cheap and even if you don't like the colors or the look of them you can always paint them to match whatever your decor is and they are perfect for doing things like this so I've almost got all the painting done here and once we have this all done, I am going to remove that stencil and you'll get to see what this turned out to look like. So here we are removing that stencil. And I was so excited to see this as it started to come off because I was really still kind of worried about it bleeding through under the stencil and I didn't have any problem with bleeding. The lines are very clean. It worked really well. I was worried because of the roughness of the cork board that it may still have bleeding no matter what I did and it didn't. It, it worked out really really well and I'm really super happy with how clear it came out on the board. I did have a couple of pieces of the stencil that I had to put on separately because it was inside of the stencil. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm pulling those off here and this is our completed design on the cork board. So this is what our board looks like now. This is it standing up in front of one of my bookcases and you will see it here in a minute in front of one of my pin boards as well. But here it is all full of my pins. It actually held every one of my pins except for my traders. I keep them on a separate board. But this is the finished product. So let me down, know down below how you liked this project. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I really want to see you back and I always need new crazy family members. Ta-ta!